Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. Size Wings here. We're gonna go ahead and continue with World Chalice. Don't really know what expects to bring me, but let's find out. If you block the movement of high-level monsters with high attack in the grave of the super ancient organism, your opponent will aim to play nightmare link monsters with powerful effects. Yeah, nightmares pop a bunch of things. If you fight while dealing with the Link Summons and effects of a Nightmare Link Monster, the attack of the Nightmare Link Monster itself are not so high, so you should be able to fight well in battle. So... They're gonna play strategy, and I'm supposed to play things that are stronger and hit over them. Sounds like a Konami deck. I don't have an extra deck. I don't have an extra deck. Yeah, all I can do is punch good. Set Mare Force. What does this thing do? When this card is activated, you can target one level 5 or higher monster in your graveyard special summon it. So it's... What do you want out of me? I got a punch good. It's, you gave me a deck where all I do is punch good. I'm gonna punch good. I hope they're not playing Mirror Force. Come on, give me some of the higher attack. Blue Sky! Oh, what's his other effect? I only know Mech Knight's main thing. When this card is normal special summon from the hand. You can add Mech Knight monsters with different names except Blue Sky from your deck to your hand, equal to the number of your opponent's cards in this card's column. No, sir. Punch good. Punch good. Was that interesting for you guys? Like, was someone find this to be a hard fought battle? That might have been the most anticlimactic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen Game of Thrones. Alright, let's go ahead and try this one. Even if there is no super polymerization, your monsters with a predator counter maybe use its fusion material for your opponent. In particular, Predator Plant. I'm not even trying. Uses monsters as a fusion material as dark. So you cannot be relieved just because it is an attribute other than dark. Also, level 2 or higher monsters with a predator counter will be level 1. None of that even made sense to me. Are they playing Super Poly? I hate Super Poly. That card sucks. I mean, it's really good. And the right tags, obviously. It sucks.
The Sunburst monster with 2300 original attack is active. Is special summoned. You can activate one of these effects. The first time each side reverse monster you control would be destroyed by a card effect. Each turn it is not destroyed. How do I even begin to get you on the field? Do I set up the tribute for you? This is... I like that's 2300 original attack, like exactly 2300 original attack. Did I get a bum hand or is this that bad of a deck? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is going the way I expected it to. Awesome. No, he has enough monsters. Like, I had to have just gotten that bad of a hand, right? Like, that, that amazingly bad of a hand? How do I even begin to overcome this? Like, I need exactly whatever monster this ritual summons. That's not it. Okay, so I'll summon you. But should let me special summon. Okay, I've got a great strategy for this fight. Try to follow carefully. There we go. I I had to have received a terrible hand. That's the only explanation. Like, there's no way it's meant to be played. There we go. There's monsters in this hand. They're not drastically better monsters. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Add one level four lower subverse monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, so at least now I can look at what all these cards are. Give me you, because I can special summon you. I don't know if anything I'm doing is right. I'm gonna end up with a monster that actually at least has a size to it. Okay. I don't know if anything I did was right. 
Hopefully he doesn't play like five monsters again. That's not promising. What am I even supposed to do about stuff like that? Like, seriously. Monsters with the same original attribute by the effect. Also, you got special summon monsters except Cyberverse monsters. I'm. Do I have monsters that big? I have this guy. That guy's not even remotely big. That guy's not big. None of these guys are big, and he popped down at 3,300 like it was nothing. Like, I don't even know where to begin. Alright, we're back everyone. Um, I decided to look up online what the internet has to say about this. I couldn't find anything because I think no one's dumb enough to do it. this because buttons that do a thing. I mean... Oh, there's that, uh... Th I play, I play a single, I play a single one. So if I draw the ritual card, it's just dead in my hand unless I draw one card out of 40. Oh my god. I'm just kind of guessing what it is I need to do. I mean... Yeah, here's the ritual spell. And it's just gonna sit in my hand unless I draw that one specific monster. It's just gonna sit there. Who would put one copy of a ritual and the monster involved in their deck? Who is that stupid? I don't understand what that was. Okay, I did a lot of damage to him. I didn't do anything useful to him. Oh, and Super Poly. Okay, at least he's using his monsters. But he's gonna get that 3300 beater again, I assume. No, 2800 beater. That honestly probably doesn't beat it, probably has some incredible effect. I'm screwed. What does this do?
Yeah, sure. Get rid of that absolutely worthless ritual card. Okay, so I do indeed play a single tuner. This deck has no goal. It has no plans for its future. It's worse than me. This is straight up unplayable. So I can do this to pop the big thing, but then he's still got this defender in the way. Like, I don't even begin to know what to do here. This deck is so bad. What are you doing in the graveyard? With this card sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one face up monster you control. That target is unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay. Like, maybe I'm searching the wrong cards and all, but like... What am I supposed to be searching? What am I supposed to be doing? This deck has no idea what it wants to do! His deck knows what it wants to do. And he's gonna do it. And he did it. Yeah. Yeah, this deck kind of sucks. Really, really bad. Like, really, really bad. Alright, I'm back. I think there's a risk that I simply have no idea how to play uh, Ignister. But what do you want out of me? I have no idea how to play Ignister. Like, none. This is... This is insane. Okay, okay. I got a bunch of monsters. I don't know if that's good or bad. Let's try this. I'm gonna start by summoning you. I'm gonna activate your effect. I'm gonna special summon you. I'm gonna 
special summon you. And hopefully with that I can get something good out there. During damage calculation of this card attacks, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the card's attack. And if you do, your opponent takes no battle. He, he seems pretty good. What do you do? If a monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to even during the damage step, you can special summon as many level 4 or lower. Well, I have no way to do that. I think I'm just gonna summon this guy. I don't know if that's the right call. It probably isn't. It's probably that other guy. But like... Oh, what am I gonna do? I don't know how to play this deck. Konami doesn't know how to play this deck. Try to play that deck. Why? Why even give these things things like Raideki? I, you didn't give me cards like Raideki. I can't instantly kill every monster on their side of the field. What are you doing in the graveyard? That's in my hand. Uh, give me this guy, I guess. I don't know. Discard one card, then target one spell trap in your graveyard. Set it to your field, but it cannot be activated this turn. Then if this card was co-linked when it's This isn't gonna help. I'm gonna do it, but it's not gonna help. Get rid of the card, you're never gonna draw the frickin' ritual. Cool. This is stupid. Oh no, does this work? But hey, it'll pop your monster. It'll pop your monster and you have no cards left in your hand. You can only use it once per turn. Well, that shows me for thinking I could do something useful. I 
I hate this game. My god, what am I supposed to do here? Like, the Nightmare cards, yeah, they pop things, but if he's got five monsters bigger than anything in my entire deck, I can pop everything and they just come back. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Hey, there's the ritual. I always draw one of these two, never the other one. Better out, better off getting Cerberus out and attacking directly. But I don't know what that back row is. No, I'm gonna get rid of the back row. There could be any number of things that'll screw me over. Granted, everything in this guy's deck could be any number of things that screws me over. What does this do? I'm summoning this card, right? Yes. I don't think it really matters which one. I'm gonna link it off to make... I'm probably gonna regret this, because now I need to discard this guy. What do you do? Yeah, I... I want him gone. Why? Why do you need to have such a better deck than me? There's no need for that. Yeah, good game, good game. Well made. Did I summon that guy before? I don't remember. I think some card let me do it.
that. Get one of the special summonable guys. Because I mean, I, I assume I need one of the special summonable guys next. Okay, I'm gonna negate your effects. out there, pop his monster, punch him in the teeth. Is there a reason I can't? I can't? Bigger than me. Why couldn't I activate his effect? I, I cancel something else's effect. Did I cancel everything's effect by canceling that thing's effect and misread or something? My head's doing that thing where it hurts. Oh my god. Yeah, 22500 monsters? No problem. Oh, and another polymerization. Mm -hmm. Yep, great. Exactly perfect. Why would I want to destroy my monster? That doesn't make sense. That sounds like a bad idea. He's immune to card effects! That was cool. Maybe I'll draw Raigeki exactly. Even get what is there a, a fusion card somewhere in this deck? Is this a link six? How the sweet father Christmas do I get out of link six? Oh, yeah, I know there's no win in this one. Either. I mean, wow. Just wow.
Like, I don't know, am I stupid? Okay, activate you. Okay, here's the fusing card. Okay, well, I have zero defense. Okay, what does this do in the graveyard? Uh, you can special summon this card to your opponent's field in defense position. Why would I want to do that? What does that do for me? I don't understand why I would ever, under any circumstances, want to do that. He doesn't have a negative effect that he would give him, and it's in defense position, so I can't attack Wolverine. This one's a wash. <sighs> I mean, this is bad. I have no idea how to win this. Every time on his turn, his deck is so consistent. gotta be different names for you, huh? So I wanted to do this last. card do? Well, it is. Oh! So that's really good if I draw another one of those. My, a lot of cards in my deck really want me to have other cards in my deck here. them together at 25 on that you're already bigger than me oh monster reborn you're gonna take mine you didn't need to do that you don't need my card you just wanted to do that just to be a punk you wanted to do that bruh oh come on And my card wasn't destroyed by battle, so I don't get to special some of my thing. Because you don't destroy anything by battle. You just have super poly. Six. 
Super Poly again. Can this get me back? Yes, it can. But not in a spot where I could activate his attack. Monsters your opponent controls is 100 attack for each card you control. If your Ig Ignister monster battles your opponent, cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. In that battle, you can target one other cyber first monster with. Okay, I want, I want, I want mommy. The special summon thing won't work because you maybe put it down there. What is the correct card here? What, what do you do? You can bench come from your graveyard. You attack. Oh, I should have attacked the other thing. I didn't know I could do that. No! I don't want to destroy my monster! Oh, we both become 3,000. A lot of these cards have really stupid effects. Misread that one. Because I thought it had a good effect. Stupid me. I keep seeing things that are like a Cyberverse monster with 2300 attack. Oh no, or extra deck, okay. Well, first off, activate that.
Okay, wait, and I can use this guy to chuck him in the graveyard. And special summon this guy. Then activate. I need to have no monsters on the field to activate that card. We're learning, folks. We're learning. This is a learning opportunity for everyone. Only I'm really stupid, so I'm not actually learning anything. It's gotta be the same attribute, that's where I messed up last time. Once I read that, I just forgot. You cannot activate monster effects for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, except Cyberverse monsters, okay. Every time, every time I draw one of these! Every time! I needed it. Yeah, I needed it. Not only grab that. Okay, it's main monster zones. That'll let me get out this guy, right? That'll let me activate you. So get them on the field.
because this is going to be a 4k attacker that, honestly, will probably be useless. But like, I don't know, maybe. Okay. And this was like, on a, once per turn you can target one other monster on the field, destroy it. And if you do special summon a token... So destroy that. Token. Thank you. I don't think I'm going to get any use out of that card. I probably should have gotten rid of the fusion one. I don't think I'm going to be using it. Do I win? Do... Do I win? I should've attacked with the 4k guy last, I knew that too. Hey, you want to uh, destroy your card for no reason? Should have attacked with the 4K last. I know I should have attacked with the 4K last. Okay, I don't understand what he's do where he's going here. The first thing I'm going to do is pop you. Now I should be able to get out another Phoenix. Why didn't I co-link it?
Do I win? Do I win? Oh my god, I won! I won, this episode went so long, but I won! The secret was just to get out that six guy. Which is actually quite difficult. Also, I think he might have wrecked, but you know. You take what you get here. Oh. Well, I'm proud of me. I don't know about you guys. I, uh. I beat that whole thing. Next up, we'll be going through these. Well, first, it's gonna be a practice one. But that'll be for next episode. When my brain works again. This may not have been a terribly entertaining video. I, I think I may have been quiet for large chunks of it. And when I wasn't, I was discussing strategy. I promise I'm normally funnier than this video would let on. I promise. But, after this video, it is over. I want to wish you all a good night. And I'll see you in the future.